a special Christmas shipment. Bethany is over in the kitchen looking at some of it now. Yum. I'm so excited to do a little taste testing, too. And we were talking about tradition. And for so many families in our area, a big tradition is getting the Cordy Brothers newsletter so that you can figure out what items you have from which places, from which continents. Um, we are representing Norway and Italy today. Yes. A couple of beautiful countries. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about the wine that we see down here and why it's so special. But first, I want to start off with this thing. Ladies, any idea what I'm holding in my hand? <laughs> Let me see. Hold it up. <laughs> looks like some... A hint. Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Oh. It looks it, like dried fish. It, there you go. It's okay. a codfish. <laughs> it oh, is okay. a, a dried... Okay, now what, what, what is this? Why did you bring it's, this today? <laughs> it's it's stoccofiso, and this is one of the most important um, seafood items in Venice. Stucco in 1432, um, an Italian merchant by the name of Pietro um, Querini got stuck on the Lofoten Islands of Norway. He was there for about a month, saw the fishing, fell in love with cod, and brought back 50 barrels to Venice. So they make a number of dishes. Bacala is eaten around the world. It's typically salted. This one is the world's <laughs> first freeze-dried product. They literally catch the fish, they clean them, they hang them out on the um, tundra in Norway, and the cold winds and the frigid temperatures freeze it yeah, Rock it's, hard. it's solid. It's solid. So you, you then, um, you soften it? You, you put soften it, in water? it. It takes seven days. You, seven you, days in you water. You change the water twice a day. Oh. When it comes back. That's a commitment. We have a recipe. If, if people want the recipe, they can call us or they can email us and we'll send them the recipe from the Alto Adige. Um, it's called uh, Gerostal di Bacala, and it's simply butter, garlic, bay leaf, all, um, uh, potatoes, onions. And the mashed up bacala, so potatoes and fish. Daryl made it um, last week when this came in, brought it in at 10 o'clock in the morning. You could eat this for breakfast, it's so good. Rick Minderman with Cordy Brothers, you always have so many great things to tell us about. Okay, let, let's hit the wine really quickly. Real quickly, the wine. This is a famous painting done by a local artist and a famous man depicted, Charlie Meyer, who was the founder of um, Harbor Winery. This is a 50th anniversary of a wine Charlie made in 1965, which Cordy Brothers had recreated as best as possible to Charlie's notes by Andis Winery up in Amador oh, County. Love Andis, yeah. This is basically what started or what catapulted Amador County and vintage Zinfandel in California because Daryl took Bob Trincaro of Sutter Home up on a picnic in early 1968 and had him taste Charlie Meyer's homemade 1965 wine. Charlie passed away in 2015. Harbor Wine is no longer with us, but now we have this wine to commemorate. It's limited. And that's Charlie Meyer in the painting. Uh, Rick Minderman, always a history lesson when you come to visit us. So we've been focusing on the savory. Stick around. We're going to focus on the sweet and some delicious sweet traditions later on this hour, ladies. Sounds yeah. good. Thank you. Good to see you, Rick. Kick off the holiday season at Grandpa.